We all want to learn how to bomb it like Bryson. Well, here's a few quick tips on how he transformed his body and his swing in a short period of time and how you can start your transformation process to hitting it further, straighter, with more control. So there are two things that Bryson does that allow him to hit the ball very far with consistent accuracy and blistering distance. So the first one I wanna show you is what he's always done throughout his career, and that is he's been a very wide player. And by width or wide, you may have heard this before, what I mean by that is how far away he gets the club from his body, and then due to his centrifugal force, he creates in his downswing, he's able to really create a lot of speed and load and lag into that shaft, and then unload it into the golf ball. The second thing he does that's gotten better with his body transformation and his increased size is how he is using the ground to create all kinds of swing speed and energy and also how he's utilizing his rotation to apply that ground pressure properly into the golf ball. So I've got my power strap and speed kit here by Orange Whip Golf and Fitness and in our Golf Fitness X methodology way we're going to show you how to train your coordination and get your body capable of being wide as well as using the ground and turning more. You can do this without our equipment, but the equipment's gonna make it a lot easier to create these feels and the fitness we need in our feel and fitness segment. So to create that width, I'm gonna use my two black bands that come with my power strap and speed kit connected to my Orange Whip Light Speed that also comes with that kit. So I've already got a built-in speed trainer here, and now we have the ability to put it under tension. So I'm gonna hook this onto the outside of my foot strap. So you can see we're on the range here and I wanna be able to hit balls and create these, these feels as I improve my fitness. So again, I'm in golf clothes, getting ready to hit some shots. All right, so how I'm gonna train width from here is I'm first gonna start with a split grip. We've called it hockey grip before, all right? And I want you to really keep those arms straight. You can see this is my regular grip, nice and wide. And I really want you to feel that you push that club away. So you can see my arms are extended. I'm using my body to create that width and that pivot. And you can see I'm turning to be able to do that. So there's my first step. Once we get a feel for that, we can go into our regular golf grip and really train that width. So there's a few things I like to think about. One is I like to really feel me push that club away from my body, as you can see there. And if I do that right, naturally the club starts to move on plane pretty well. The other thing I like to think about is that I don't want any fold in that takeaway until I get to the last possible position I can hit before the club starts to work its way up. And that's that width that allows me to transition and really create a lot of speed into the downswing. If you don't have the power strap and speed kit, simply grab a club. You can still create those same feels nice and wide as you can see there, extended. And the resistance obviously is gonna make it a lot easier to perform that movement and get your body also stronger and more mobile in that upper back to allow you to be able to maintain that width and have it consistently happen in your golf swing. The second thing we're gonna add in is we're gonna add in that rotation into the backswing that Bryson is doing so well to load up in that swing. So you pair that with the width, with the rotation, and we're also gonna talk about how he pushes into the ground and then pushes again on the way down and how that really creates a ton of speed. So maintaining my first connection with the light speed, I'm gonna go ahead and connect my orange bands to my belt and my foot straps, and I'm gonna be in more of a training mode here. And what I mean by that is I'm gonna work against the resistance bands, which are gonna get my body to resist against the pull of these, which is gonna help me become more stable, stronger, and really able to make this big turn. So how I'm gonna do that, is I'm gonna hook up my orange band to the inside of that foot strap on my lead foot and connect it here right in front of my trail hip. So now when I turn into my backswing, you can see I'm having to work against that band. From here, I'm gonna connect belt position gray and I'm gonna bring it down to the outside of this trail foot. So to get started with this drill and get loose for this process, we're gonna put our hockey grip back on here and we're gonna do some step back swings. So what I mean by that is we're gonna take our golf posture. I'm gonna step back to initiate my swing sequence, stick that foot, push into the ground, 
and then get nice and wide and come back. Step, nice and wide. So you can see I'm loading up. I want you to really feel that you're pushing into the ground. I'm nice and wide and notice that my lead shoulder is still pointing down. From there, golf grip. From here, I'm gonna work against those bands. So see me pulling them, you can see I'm extending as I make that backswing. From there, after I have that happen and I go ahead and extend those bands, I'm gonna let them shrink as I transition into the downswing and then I'm gonna extend them again as I go through, okay? So step back swings first. Now we're gonna go into the full motion of backswing, feeling the same thing, and then we're gonna create that downswing. So we're gonna go extend the bands, push through that trail leg, lead foot can come off the ground. We're gonna shrink them and push up. All right, so I can swing a couple times like this. Extend, 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 shrink, push. So from there, I can disconnect my black bands, start to feel me use this ground, still maintain that width, and now I'm swinging the light speed. Here we go. Extend, 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 shrink. So you can see I'm really using the ground on the way down, and then I'm pushing up on the way through as that club is coordinating. So get used to that coordination, get a feel for that timing. Again, using the light speed, you can even use the orange whip. They're gonna help you keep that rhythm, tempo, timing, and balance as you work on these drills. All right, we'll do it again. Up, 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 big turn, nice and wide. We're gonna shrink the bands and push up. Here we go. So you can see I'm really using the ground, and when I do that, if you notice Bryson, his foot is spinning because he's pushing into the ground so hard, and you'll notice that his back leg, okay, is staying in that flex position a lot longer than it used to. When he was younger and a little smaller, we used to see that leg start to kick in a little bit faster. So he's functionally trained his body to use his mass, his strength, but he's also made sure that he's been coordinating that with his driver swing so that he's able to do it based on his fitness level rising, but also his golf coordination's going up with it. All right, a couple more here. Push, push, push. I'm gonna shrink, so I'm gonna feel that those bands flex. That's gonna give me that knee flex that Bryce is doing so well right now and give me something to push into the ground. All right, so from there, now we're gonna go into the assist phase. Again, that was more of our training. I'm working against that. Now let's get some help on the backswing. All right, so now we're going into our more assist phase. And again, with our focus on width in the backswing, as well as using that ground with our rotation and our pressure shift, okay? So I've got a band connected on the blue position of the belt here down and across the inside of my trail leg. From here on the back side, you can see now this is my leg piston, very similar to how we had it before. But again, that's going to help me shrink and then push, get a nice feel as I do that. From here, we can take our black bands, go into our training phase, and now really feel that proper movement. So I can connect this to the outside of the foot too. If I'm in a training position here, now this is really, I got to get those bands tense. So I'm gonna get some help in the hips. All right, from here, really loading in. I can really feel my legs firing, my glutes firing, my hamstrings, everything like that. And then to get tension in this band, you can see I've really gotta be wide. Again, that's really gonna help me hit that transition. So I'm gonna get a feel for that. Push down, I'm just gonna rep it. I'm not gonna make a forward swing because I'm connected on the trail side with the light speed. Push, push, push. So I can really feel my body stretching. My muscles are having to work. And now I'm gonna go ahead, ditch the light speed resistance, get this assisted hip position in and get to work. Let's grab the driver. I'm gonna keep the bands on. That's what's so neat about the power strap and speed kit. I keep these bands on as I go ahead and strike some balls. Now I'm gonna swing my driver just to get reacclimated to that, but still incorporating those feels. As I'm nice and wide, I get that nice transition, that nice push. It's gonna load that shaft. Again, tension's a big one here, so make sure you stay greasy as you go up there. I like that word in terms of feeling that play in the shaft. Orange Whip is the best in the business at helping you do that. Light Speed has the same quality, so that greasiness is important for you to go wide and create a lot of load. So here we go. So 
So I'm really using the ground a lot better. Let's go ahead and hit one. I'm sure that'll help you at home. You don't even have to eat 100 hamburgers or work out three times a day. It's just how you train with our Golf Fitness X methodology on our Orange Whip Golf and Fitness Power Strap and Speed Kit.